Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks bringing you your daily NVIDIA report for Thursday, May 30th, 2024. Let's take a look at the charts. I'm going to start with the big picture as always, and I'm just using the daily chart here for that because you can see the wide sweeping moves that we've anticipated following the settlement above it, the 827.02 descending two month channel top that occurred about a month ago, uh, just about a month ago, um, uh, that um, did set up uh, 974 as a one to two week target and 1193.40 as a two to three month target. We are less than a month into that and may well reach 1193.40 today. That is Thursday. Uh, combined with 1193.40, we also see kind of this longer term uh, sequence, these wave counts that I've used for many years. Uh, it's really this so sort of the full swing. Uh, 974 even down to 756.06. Pushing through 974 even, we rally an equal distance to the upside that we felt in, in testing uh, or reaching 756.06. I call it the full 100% swing to the upside. And that is at 1191.94. Uh, and so uh, that is combined with 1193.40. It is a zone of resistance. Uh, we have annual containment here. It may well contain buying uh, through the third quarter and possibly the rest of the year. From here, if we test this area today, we will begin speaking about the channel bottom that is presently right around 863 even and climbing into the 870s by the later part of next week uh, as a two to three month downside possibility. You can see plenty of precedents uh, for that. I mean, uh, this is a January low to a March high. That was one, two, three months to the upside. We've got a March high to an April low. This is a solid two months, uh, less than that actually, six weeks to the downside. Uh, and so you can see how there's plenty of precedent. I say two to three months, yes, and it could be quicker than that. But I think two to three months uh, would be the play. So for testing 1193.40 today, you may consider reaching for, I don't know, 975 strike out of the money puts that don't expire uh, for at least, I would go at least six months out on that. I don't think it's going to take any more than two, three at the most, but you never know. And, you know, you don't want to have to... Um, bail on an out-of-the-money call that is deteriorating ever so rapidly as we approach its expiration. So there's that. Um, let's talk downside uh, that in the event, um, well, here, this is a good image of the downside. I still like 1098.83. That is that gap low. This is the, um, uh, this is the um, Tuesday low. We gapped higher. Um, a 1098.83, able to contain session weakness, and above which this 1193.40 is likely over the next few days, uh, where we can once again top out through the third quarter. This is a pretty good illustration of it right here. Holding above 1098.30, uh, we could actually today reach 1093.40, and if we, I'm going to say close below 1098.83, uh, that would indicate the very next day, tomorrow, a test of 1057.58. 1057.58 is uh, the beginning of a range that is coupled with a rising one-third speed line today at 1031.95. You can see that these are both climbing uh, and this narrowing as we move through time. So um, every time we put out a new high, this red line gets recalibrated. That is the way the one-third speed lines are constructed. So that's just the way it goes as we move Move through time once we test 1193.40 and begin to fall away that speed line that will then be constructed will remain you know a static uh, level not a static level uh, the speed line will remain the same speed line through time and so really what I'm saying here is if we close below 1098.83, expect within a day or two the market to fall into this zone of support. 1031.95 to 1057.58, able to contain selling through next week. And from here, we can round back up into the 1190s within a week or two of doing so. So that is kind of the one to two week swing trade, buying 1057.58. 
uh, selling 1193.40 and vice versa. So if you're kind of in the one to two week swing trade, you could sell 1193.40 short and buy back perhaps at 1031.95 rising daily. Um, that is really the one to two week swing trade. If we close below 1031.95, I would expect 960.90. In, I will be showing these when necessary, but for right now, we are pushing to ever higher highs. This is turning into, you know, kind of this parabolic move, uh, you know, following, uh, well, I'm going to say following this buy signal. We hesitated for a couple of weeks, but it's up and underway. Obviously, the fundamentals play a role. This incredibly high earnings uh, that came out last week contribute to all this, of course. Um, and so 1193.40, what if we close above 1193.40 over the next few days? We have a long-term objective then uh, that is at 1522.96. This full channel extension becomes a realistic target that could be realized. You know, these have been like two to three month moves. Uh, this is more of a two month move. And so if we close above 1193.40, and that should be by a 1% margin, today's level is 1205.33. So if we close today 1205.33 or higher, we are in another paradigm where over the next month or two, we should reach 1522.96. Of course, we'll be scouting levels all the way up, but we are in sort of no man's land when it comes to previous trade. We are at all time highs. That's been the case now for um, over a week, uh, about a week, actually, pushing to ever new highs. Uh, and so I don't think there's really anything else that can be said beyond what I've already said. So please click like, share, subscribe, check out wickedstocks.com. We offer a five-day free trial. I'll be back tomorrow with Friday's NVIDIA report. You have a great day.